Hi everyone, this is Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers. And this is Q&A Tuesday, and we have a question. It was kind of a loaded question, but I'll get to a little part of it. Jesse asks, can you cover selections? Well, I have about a 45-minute class on selections, and in fact, I'm going to be doing a class on September the 17th for members. And it's going to be of this collage right here, and we're going to cover all the whole spectrum of different selections because different photos need different selections. So I'm just going to cover one little piece of the selection area. And if you are a member, make sure that you join us on September the 17th. If you are a non-member, you can join us for $15. Or I'd suggest go ahead and becoming a member, and then you can come to it for free. So um, Jesse from Montana asks about that. So. Let's go ahead and let's create just part of this collage that I'm going to be doing the whole entire collage on the 17th. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's close that out. It always does that to me after a few seconds. I'm going to delete this layer right here and I'm going to bring that back in showing you how I created that selection and put it into my poster or collage or whatever you're creating. So I'm going to go to File and Open, and I'm going to go ahead and pull up that particular photo. What I did was I asked my son to go ahead and put on his uniform because it's really hard to get a good um, pose when they're out on the field. So what I did was I forced him to put on his uniform, and I told him to stand in front of my white wall. Now, it can be just a solid wall, something that's going to be kind kind of contrasty. It's a little bit easier to make a selection. Now, I didn't take into fact that I am going to have this shadow on there, but that's OK. It's, it's contrasty enough. Now, one of the simpler selections is always going to be your quick selection tool, and we're going to talk about that more so in this class. So what I did was I took my quick selection tool, and since there is a bit of contrast, I can get a somewhat accurate selection by just clicking and dragging over the area that I want to select. Okay. Now his arm and the shadow, they are very, very similar. So I did not take that into, um, I didn't think about that while I was doing it. Now let's just say I just selected that and I did not get this part of the hat. Well, I can go back to that same selection, the Quick Selection tool, or press the A on the keyboard if you're a shortcut user, and then hold down the Shift key. That's going to go ahead and add to that selection. Then I can go back in there, and I can kind of scroll around. What I do is I move around, and I just check to see. Now, I want to delete this part, so I can hold down my um, Alt key, and that'll turn it into a negative. So I can go in there and kind of delete part of that selection. Now it is getting a little bit close in here, so I'm just going to worry about that in a few minutes. And I can come up in here and hold my Alt key down and go in there and deselect that as well. And then in here, and there's a little area there that I still need to um, select. And this is part of the shadow it looks like, so let's go in there and kind of come in here. Okay, again, this is when it has really good contrast. And over here looks pretty good. It's getting pretty close. The bat, there's some piece of the bat that I still need to pick up. So I'm going to go ahead and use my plus. And I can hold down my shift key to get that plus. Okay, and I'm just kind of zooming around in here, getting my plus. I'm adding to that selection there. And up here, I need to subtract that from that selection. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key and subtract from that selection. And you can get as picky as you want to get. Now again, on Tuesday the 17th, I'm going to show you how to get really picky. Okay, So let's just go up in here. That looks pretty good. And coming around here, that looks good enough for this, for this segment. So I'm going to double click on the hand tool. And let's go ahead then, if you wanted to, you could put a slight feather on that. And we'll talk about uh, the feathers, like one pixel versus 10 pixels and all of that. But let's just say we have a pretty good selection. I'm going to take my Move tool. And once I have that selection, I click and drag and drag it into my page. Okay, And then I can come in here 
and it looks like it did have a little bit of a feather to it. I must have had a one or two pixel feather. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit so it falls right in here. And it does need to go behind that area. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it and drop it behind that band there. And there we have a fairly good selection. Okay, You can kind of zoom in and see the selection here. Okay, there might be a little bit of a halo effect, but we will discuss um, using the refine selection and how you can get rid of that as well. I'm going to move it down a little bit so that his waist is cut off down here. And that's just the beginning of how you use selection. So I'm hoping you're a member and I hope that you join us. Let's go ahead and I'll show you where you sign up for that. You go to naods.com. <coughs> Excuse me. And as you can see, I'm wearing my son's hat. I have to get this done before he comes home from school. Otherwise, he's going to be upset with me. But I thought it would be appropriate to wear this. Go to naods.com, click on Free Webinars tab, and then just scroll down. You can see all the upcoming classes. I usually have them a month out. So this is where you would sign up. If you are a member, you just click on here. If you're a non-member, what you're going to do is you're going to click on here, and then it'll just um, ask you for the, the $15, and, and then you can go ahead and sign up and just say that you have, are a paid, you have paid. Um, but what I would suggest, if you're a non-member and you would like to become a member, just go to naods.com backslash secret, because for the next couple days we are having a great sale on bonuses and memberships. So check that out, and then you can come to the class on September uh, the 17th for free. Um, Snickerdoodle Designs Karen is going to be doing a class on the 23rd and it's called what and how and why. So basically someone asked what about, I think it was, oh, I can't remember, I think her name was, um, I want to say Susan, but I know it's not Susan. But anyway, she was asking about transparencies, overlays, smart objects, frames, TIFFs versus PSDs versus JPEGs. So Karen's going to kind of put together a whole class on that. Should be really exciting, so sign, be sure to sign up for that as well. We are available on YouTube, so I believe it's that way where you would go ahead and like us on uh, YouTube and Facebook. So hopefully you are a member um, on YouTube and Facebook. But if you have any questions in the future for any Q&A Tuesdays, please email me at info at naods.com and I will be sure to get back to you. Hopefully I will do a Q&A Tuesday for you in the next few weeks. Thanks for joining me and make sure you like us on Facebook so I continue to do these. Bye-bye.